During the 2000 floods, it was a very busy time here in Selby. We were working very closely on the ground with the, with the army, the police and other professional partners to make sure everybody kept safe in the town. And we were repairing the flood defences in between tides with, with the help from the army. The massive floods of October 2000, which devastated the whole area, also included the site here at Selby. At this site, we actually make um, approximately 650 different products ranging from sauces, bolognese, and we also in include um, pickled onions and pickled beetroot. Greencore supply all the major supermarket chains in the UK. The, the flood had a massive effect on the business. The factory was a metre deep in water when we arrived. It was horrendous. The, the, the mud and silt had got everywhere. Uh, the impact on people was, was that we had to wear protective personal equipment. All the machinery was covered in it, all the um, electrical components were all covered in water. Uh, so sewage about it floated everywhere. Although the event was reasonably um, predicted, it still came as a, as a surprise to, to everybody that the actual flood barriers were, were breached. After the flood receded, after six days, we managed to send most of our workforce to Manchester, our sister Pandora factory, to keep producing the products we needed to get to our customers. This, this was a huge impact. I mean, the resulting damage was, was a multi-million pound insurance claim. Although we had some contingency plans in place at the time, we just weren't prepared for the sheer scale of the impact that that flood had. And consequently, we've learned considerably from, from that event and we've put in um, a whole myriad of uh, management chains and cascades in terms of communications between ourselves and the Environment Agency to deal with the unlikely event happening again. We're helping companies like Greencore by providing them with better information. Uh, we've updated the modelling and our forecasting system so we can provide them with more accurate and timely warnings should flooding occur. Uh, and also we've got be better mapping systems so we can show them maps showing where flow routes occur behind the flood defences uh, and what potential problems they might need to plan for. The lessons that we learned from the severe weather of October 2000 was to have a more robust business continuity plan and to work more closely with the Environment Agency as regards those crucial communications surrounding river levels and other weather information at the time when flooding occurs. Businesses can find information on the gov.uk website where they can find out if they live or are in a flood risk area for example. They can also contact the local environment agency office where people will be glad to help them with flooding information to help them put plans in place to manage flooding and flood risk and or other extreme weather events. As well as specific flooding information on the website uh, you'll find useful information on there to tell businesses how to write a flood plan for themselves. This was a massive disruption to not only the, the business plans of, of the site, but also to people's lives. And although everybody performed heroically to ensure that the site got up and running again, this isn't something that we want to do again. The advice that I would give to other businesses and other business owners is to have a robust business continuity plan in place and to have that in place now before severe weather hits their community and their business. Mm -hmm.